Hey there, folks. My name's Alex, and I'm a vapor that has COVID. You know, I'm not the first vapor to have COVID and talk about it on YouTube, but I am the first vapor to document the symptoms in this disease progression. I've dreaded this day since March of 2020, when the entire country, and frankly, the entire world started to react to it. At first, the solution was to shut everything down and slow the spread of this pandemic virus. Here's Mumbai, India, with a population of 1.4 billion during the shutdown. Did it stop me from getting sick? No, but it did slow down the progression of this virus. The next salvation was vaccines. If everybody gets two doses of vaccines, it'll stop people from getting sick. And yet, there are countless testimonials of vaccinated people who got COVID after being vaccinated. If you're a vapor, I'm sure you know that both Phil and Dimitri talked about it getting COVID. And Phil even joked about hosting a big super spreader event where everybody that was there was vaccinated but still got COVID. Well, you know what? I'm not the kind of person to attend a super spreader event. In fact, I've done everything possible to avoid anyone who might get me sick. In fact, most people have radically altered their entire way of life all because of COVID. We wear masks. We wash our hands multiple times a day. We social distance. We don't attend large gatherings anymore unless we follow all of the precautions. And here we are, I'm sick with the dreaded COVID. Fortunately, I know exactly who got me sick. It's the only person that I've been in contact with for the last 10 days. And that's my wife. She's a hairdresser. And she's following all the recommendations that are required by the State Board of Health, including getting the vaccine. We were both vaccinated as soon as possible, but apparently, this vaccine isn't as good as other vaccines that we have out there. Like the ones that we all get for polio or mumps or rubella or tetanus, just to name a few. But at the very least, it's supposed to minimize this illness. Well, I guess it's time to find out how effective this vaccine is. And while we're at it, how about we find out what kind of role vaping plays in the role of COVID symptoms? You know, both my wife and I vape, but in some ways we vape totally different. I am a constant chain vapor. I breathe deeply and quickly to get as much vapor as possible into my lungs. While she's the kind of vapor that goes out for a smoke break with her friends hours apart from the last break. She slowly vapes until she gets the nick that you typically get when you go out for a smoke break, just to calm down, regroup, refocus on your thoughts. Well, knowing all these factors at play, it's actually gonna help us reveal what effect vaping has on both of us being sick with the same thing. You know, she started getting sick in the middle of last week. Her first sign was just feeling tired and run down. And the classic, you know, aches and chills that typically present with flu-like symptoms. For me, my first symptom was two, maybe three days later. And it just was like the occasional sneeze out of nowhere. And the allergy symptoms that I'm so accustomed to dealing with my entire life. Her next symptom with severe headaches that only got some relief after taking Excedrin headache combined with Advil. But taking all those pills just upsets her stomach. Me, I've yet to take anything for my symptoms because quite frankly, they're so mild, I'm afraid that if I take anything, it's just gonna completely mask the symptoms. Meanwhile, my wife is so run down by COVID that it's affecting her sleep patterns. She's like in two, maybe three long naps throughout the day. 
and consequently not able to fall asleep until the wee hours of the morning when it is time to go to bed. Yesterday evening, I unexpectedly dozed off while I was waiting for the batch of homemade chicken soup from scratch to finish cooking. And after that nap and that chicken soup, I was feeling fine last night. You know, I could tell that there's some sinus congestion. You can hear it in my voice, but it's still not bad enough to get me to take anything for it. Well, folks, here we are. It's day two of me being sick and day four to five of my wife being sick with COVID. She's still feeling run down. Her stomach hurts. She has aches and pains along with the occasional fever and congestion and even an occasional cough. For me, I've got some sinus pressure, but it's nothing like what I was expecting to have when you get COVID. Is tomorrow going to be anything different? I guess only time will tell. So for now, I'm going to keep on vaping. And I'll see you tomorrow with an update of how we're doing. Have a great day, folks.